Mr. Grasso, and I'm a pigment raconteur, also known as a painter. So, where did you learn how to uh, do art? Like, did you go to art school or anything? No, I didn't go to art school. I, uh, right out of high school, I started working for a mural company. Uh, we produced uh, commercial murals for properties in Atlantic City, like casinos and stuff like that. And um, I had always done art, but that was the first, right out of high school, was a professional gig, getting paid for painting. But I always went about it as fine art, and I always produced my own paintings as well at home with the hopes one day to have a show and uh, it, but in the meantime that was pretty much my education and then I opened up my own mural company a couple of years after that and uh, that was pretty much how I made a living but like I said always doing my own pieces and then finally I had a show my first show when I was 21 and I'm 36 now and now I don't do murals at all anymore I just paint my own paintings and have shows you know, all over the place. What is your favorite type of art to produce? Like, uh... well, I'm a realist, mm -hmm. so um, you know, I what I paint is realism. I paint paintings that reflect um, reality, mainly figurative paintings of people. Mostly, I paint women. Um, I still, as an artist, as a realist, I like to do self-portraits as well, but mainly figurative realism. But I tend to uh, try to tell a story with my work so it's more of a narrative figurative realism I uh, really inspired by film and stuff so I really try to have an underlying narrative and say something with all my pieces uh, some kind of story so there's a there's an odd quirk to them it's not just uh, you know a faithful representation of a of a photograph or a or of someone sitting while I'm painting them it's there's more that goes into it a lot of it is um, can be staged with some heavy uh, costume and makeup and stuff like that. But I, I go about it in a cinematic approach. But as far as what I do, is I'm a figurative realist. But I experiment as well. I mean, art is an evolution. It's constantly learning and constantly um, trying to better yourself and constantly being inspired by other artists that you admire as well. So that's how it goes. Is there a theme you try to maintain through your work? Um, I don't think I try to maintain a theme. I think what happens is things are uh, ingrained in you and they just pop up whether or not you want them to or not. I grew up on the shore, so the sea seems to be a constant theme. Um, but I was never pleased with the art that uh, I saw growing up, local art that was around me. Um, the representations of, of the shore and the beach was very, uh, I don't know, just bland and banal to me it's just snow fences and seashore scapes and seashells and for me I wanted to search for something different so I've gone in the direction of uh, whether it's draping a woman in an octopus or telling a whole story about a seafaring uh, drunkard captain hunting uh, sea monsters you know so that that's a constant kind of thing that creeps up but also I tend to uh, float around with narratives of uh, mythology and uh, lore and things like that that I've always um, w was drawn to growing up. So, Growing up, did you always want to be an artist? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, when I was a kid, I just wanted to, to be a comic book artist. That's all I wanted to do. And then uh, when I found, uh, started admiring the painters, I mean, I always grew up going to museums and stuff and I always admired the paintings but um, there was a certain creativity of fantasy that, or, or something that's completely made up with, with creating your own characters and stuff with comic books that I really admired but uh, yeah I mean there was I don't know if it was a want as much as it's just the way it is it's the only thing that I was ever going to be. Are there any achievements, artwork, or anything of that sort in your career that you're most proud of? You know, every day is, it's, it's an achievement that, uh, that I'm able to do this, especially in where I live. I mean, I'm not in a major metropolitan area. Even though I've shown in major metropolitan areas, I don't live there. I'm not in the scene. But, uh, but yet I'm still capable of just being an artist and producing what I want to produce and making a living at it. 
Um, so that's that's an achievement in itself that's just kind of every day you're like, wow, is this really my life? But, um, you know, a ton of work goes into that. There's a ton of hard work and a ton of, um, of learning and a lot of uh, sometimes going, you know, you might work two years to do a show and then you don't know if anything's going to sell. So it can be a little crazy, but um, other than that, last year uh, I had a solo museum show at the Noise Museum, which was a big achievement for me. A lot of work went into that and uh, over two years, of, really like two and a half years of work from the conception to the opening night. And uh, that was great. And the museum purchased one of the pieces. So now I'm in a museum collection. Uh, this is probably going to be a tough one, but do you have a favorite painting by chance? That I've done? Yeah. Or someone else's? Yours. Me? Um, no, I don't, I don't think I have a single favorite. There's, I always tell people there's a few pieces I'd like to buy back and, and have. Um, but, you know, this is like if there was a fire, which ones would I save, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There's more than one, so I couldn't, couldn't answer is your artwork featured anywhere right now? And if so, like where? Um, well, I have pieces that are on, like the museums, and there's a piece that's on permanent display. There's um, a piece at the Soma Gallery in Cape May. But I, I'm having three shows this year. So there'll be a show in July, July 5th, at Parlor Gallery in Asbury Park. And then in August, don't know the exact date, but. August is uh, my solo show at Soma, and then in, on Halloween I have a show in San Francisco. So that's a group show, though. That's not a solo. Uh, has your work won any awards? Mm, I didn't realize that art was a competition, but I like that answer. Your newest exhibition was Fable, right? That was my most recent show. Yeah. 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 Uh, would you like to talk actually, about that? Or? Actually, I do have, there's a show in Asbury Park, the Parlor Gallery right now. I have one piece in, but I don't know what that means. But that Fable, yeah, I mean, that was, uh, that was my museum show. That was what I put the most into to date as far as um, I went about it in a lot of different new ways. I used one model to tell 13 different stories of legendary characters from folklore and, and mythology. And um, some that uh, were actually living people, but became um, legendary in their own right for, through their actions or whatever. And uh, I used one model, and when she start, when we started, she was 15 years old, and through the course of two years, she was 17 by the time I did the last painting. So it was really a journey for all everybody involved, but it was the first show that I ever uh, had hired photographers to take pictures for my reference that I worked from so I could actually direct my model and like I was saying before, it really went about it in a cinematic way. I mean, I had to start it with the conception of drawing my ideas in my sketchbook and then having meetings and showing my model so she could get her head wrapped around what I was trying to say and then finally getting her here, getting her in costume and makeup, which I did, and then lighting her and then uh, having photographers shoot her for me while I could direct her and tell her what to do. So it was a totally different process that way. It was really like a group process, even though I was kind of the director and in charge. And then finally going to it and uh, painting the pieces. And uh, But I really went in a totally different direction. I minimized my paint palette uh, to just a very minimal amount of colors. And so technically it was, it, it was a, a new thing for me. But then since then I've completely gone another direction. So not so much in the finished pro product, but the process. Is, uh, is constantly evolving. So, The documentary was recently released about you and your artwork. Uh, would you like to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, it's actually premiering again May 12th at the uh, Middle Township PAC Center. And uh, it, was, it was a really exciting thing for me because I love film. And when uh, Art C decided to make it, they uh, agreed to go on a route to make it kind of a hybrid documentary and narrative so there's actually three parts of the film that are creative narratives uh, like a real movie you know and um, and I was able to be involved in that and 
it was a joint effort making it, so it was really fun for me, you know, going for the from the storyboard all the way to actually filming it. Um, but other than that, you know, it's like a, it's it's kind of flattering and it's an honor, you know, that someone wants believes in what you do enough to make a film about you. But uh, it's great promotion, and the guys at Artsy do amazing work. And they uh, really good at what they do and produce quality product. But uh, it's just it's a really interesting experience, you know. And then you sit there and you you watch yourself and you go, you know, Jesus, what a asshole <laughs> yeah but yeah. it's nice yeah it's cool it's fun yeah, I'm, I'm I mean I'm in the business of half of it is such hard work and and you know you put so much into it and you don't know if anybody's gonna like it and then the other half when you finally come to the show it's like kind of public figure kind of thing and uh, everybody wants to talk to you and you're the star of your show and everything but what I don't think people realize is that whole year or whatever pro what, however long it takes to produce your work, you're alone with nobody but your paint, you know? And it's, uh, so it's really, and then all of a sudden you're thrown into this. And then same thing with the film, you know, this film comes out and opening night was sold out and there's all these people who want to talk to you and stuff. And you're nervous as hell because you don't know if anybody's going to like it. So it's, it's a constantly putting yourself out there and, uh, you know, you try to be as, as relaxed and as real as possible, but you never know what anybody else is thinking and you know to be an artist is partly to be constantly criticized so it can be uh, it can be very unsettling sometimes but all in all it's pretty fun so do you have any projects that you're working on right now yeah I'm working on my show for the summer right now so that's what all this new stuff is is for my my solo show in Cape May the um the show at Parlor in Asbury Park is that will be the remaining pieces that haven't sold a fable. But I will do one new one. I kind of like the idea of having some of my series be never-ending series where I can always come back to and add another piece to. So I'll be doing a new piece for that. And then the one in San Francisco, I I haven't decided on what I'm going to do yet. I only need to do one piece for it, but uh, it'll be it'll be something wild. So that's what I'm working on. <laughs>